Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> I seem to have developed some kind of telekinetic armor. Where are these guys <laughs> just can't hurt me? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, oh, oh, another one from behind. It's all good though. They can't seem to hit me. So, you know. <laughs> Man, that looks funny. Oh god. Yeah, I uh I slept and broke my bed and there's a bug where it, it uh I believe it thinks it moves you into the bed position and then you break the bed and it doesn't move you back into the not bed position, so I believe it thinks my head is down at my feet, but they're still shooting at my head. So the arrows are just going through me. Look at all the arrows on the ground, man. These guys are going to town. All right. Well, uh well, that's going on. Uh, um, I dug this whole thing out. This was all mountain stuff. Also, it's funny because the spiders can like jump at me, but they don't hit me because they're trying to hit me in the head. <laughs> Skeleton fight. Also, experience orbs like to just fly around my head. Oh, those ones went fine. Um, I dug out this whole mountain thing here because I was like, you know what? I want a bridge. So I made a bridge. Oh, I need to cover that up now. Uh, <clears throat> I don't have any on me right now, so we'll do it later. But yeah, uh, so I did that, and that's cool, and I updated that a little bit, and ah, ah, ah sorry, I walked into a wall. Um, the other unfortunate side effect of having this cool telekinesis armor means that when you walk into stuff, it hurts, <laughs> because uh, for whatever reason it thinks that I'm going through the wall. I know if I go into something, like, I, it's, it's hard to jump up stuff. I know, um, see, look, I can jump up right through these things. Oh, oh, no, what, what? I was just in fifth person. Fifth person. First person. I mean, third person. There we go. Oh, man. Can I get him? I, I got this. Where is he? There he is. Did I kill him? Yeah. Oh, no! What? Where? Why? Why are you trying to get into my house, man? <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, let's let's sleep and make it daytime and probably get rid of our ability to walk through stuff. Zisto did a video where he had that going on, but I just did it on accident because I slept and then I was like, "Oh no, I should wait until um." Actually, I think it was because it was nighttime and I wanted to get experience because I need I made a new pick and I need to enchant it, which I'm going to do right now. I did expand our little reed farm a little bit, but not a whole lot. Well. I guess I doubled it, or maybe even one and a half times did it. Unbreaking! Yay! Kind of probably going to feel a little bit slow for a while, but oh well. Um, so yeah, I, I did this, and I was struggling with how to get this done, and I had like a glowstone there on both sides, but I can't cover this whole bottom thing in half slabs or else the lighting gets weird in the middle, which is, it kind of looks cool except when the glowstone's there because then it turns weird colors like brown and stuff. I don't like how this is over here. I may just, like, slope this up at some point. I don't really know. Uh, there's a creeper over there. Uh, yeah, I, I changed the, the light thing. Uh, it's, it no longer goes around or anything. It just, the power goes up straight to it, and it just powers them all from one redstone line, which makes it a lot easier and compacter and stuff. Um... So that's neat. Like, right, let's come. Up. Do I have a water bucket on me? I do have a water bucket on me. Ooh. Let's get that on our bar. And I will just do this. Fill that one with water so I can swim up. Okay, it's all just powered through here. The the power comes up in the corner and then it hits a dust underneath this piston, which doesn't power it, which powers this block right here that this torch is on. And then, you know, that powers the torch, which hits this block, and then powers the rest of the stuff. So they all just go up and down at once, but I was able to move up the ceiling quite a bit. Which allowed me to... Hold on. Get my water back. Which allowed me to raise this glass up uh, quite a bit. So it looks much better now, because on all sides, except for the one with the door, because it's shorter, uh, the glass is the same height from above and below, which I think is nice. It looks good. I also removed the nether portal. There is no current nether portal. So if we need to go get stuff, we'll have to make another one somewhere. I also 
did all of this, it goes down to the bottom. You can, I replaced all the dirt and everything on the sides with smooth stone, and I, I dug two back and put some lava in there, and that just flows down. So that's cool. Uh, I did have an incident um, while I was, I think it was soon after I had done stuff up there, I actually removed that ladder on accident, because I, er, not on accident, but I had to cover up the thing, so when I was tearing down the, the ceiling up there, it wouldn't fall down all the way down there. And so I jumped down to grab the ladder, which was gone by then. But, um, I jumped down and died. <laughs> and then I respawned over here, and there was a creeper. I think I must have left my door open or something, and he was just standing, like, right here. So I respawned, like, right here, and just, psst, boosh, blew a giant hole in the ceiling. Uh, yes, he, he said, psst, boosh, by the way, if you were wondering. That's the sound creepers make now. It's, uh, new in the latest patch. I'm kidding. That's not true. Don't listen to me. Anyway. Uh, he blew out all these windows, three of the furnaces, which is why they kind of moved a little bit. Um, this chest, all this crap was on the floor. I did I did make some blocks of iron, so that's cool. Um, I made a new chest for dirt. This is all my blocks, like cobble and gravel and sand and stuff. And then this is all the particularly useful ones, like ones that I have crafted and stuff, such as the glass and the wood and stuff like that. And then I have the redstone, and this is the random crap that I don't want. This is the useful crap, which I have so much wheat right now, it's ridiculous. Um, let's see, other things that I did, I've got dogs now, multiple dogs. This one was actually a, a child of these two, so that's cool. Um, I have a little chicken farm going on down here. Uh, there's quite a few chickens in it. Uh, they seem to like that little spot down there, I don't really know why, right here. I did actually come through, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a chicken farm and then like a, a pit for chickens. And I'm just going to take the chicken farm and throw eggs into the pit. Like, the eggs are going to pour out, and I'll just throw all the eggs into a pit, and once they build up enough, I'll just have some way to light them on fire so that I can just collect a bunch of cooked meat, and that might just be become, might just become my new source of food. Because it does give better, um, it restores more hunger points than, uh, bread does. So, I think, doesn't it? Does it? I don't know. I think it does. Could be wrong, though. Hmm. Excuse me. I'm a little tired. What time is it? It is 6.30. <laughs> okay. At night. Not in the morning. Not particularly late. Oh, uh, yeah. This took me quite a while to do. Uh, it did finish off my pick. And I actually made two shovels. I don't really know why. So, maybe I'll just put one back in the chest. <laughs> it wasn't anticipating this to take much longer than... Or to require much more digging than it did, but uh, on the bright side, I've got tons of dirt now, so, and a good deal of cobblestone, too. All right, I have to fix that one, too. Um, all right, I, I did this. I, I think that looks good. I've tried multiple things here, like I said, and none of them really looked very good, and these are uh, stairs, upside down stairs. I didn't really know how to do this part over here, so it kind of looks a little weird to me, but that was the best that I could get out of it, so... Oh well. And this side worked out fine, because it just, like, blends into the, the wall, as does this side. But over here, it just comes straight out. It doesn't actually expand out around, which is why I said I wanted it to go around, and because this stupid wall looks retarded. And, um, I've already started to bring it out a little bit, but I, I didn't actually finish it, so I need to do that at some point. Okay, uh, I started the mob trap. I dug a decently sized hole, but... It's still, uh, or the experience grinder, I should say. But it's still kind of a work in pro. It's definitely still a work in progress. Um, I, I've only dug, like, a third of what I have to dig, and that took up all of my gunpowder. To I used it to make TNT and stuff. Uh, I, I put half slabs here so that the seeds and wheat wouldn't fall into the water. Um, anything else? All the villagers are dead, so that's cool. But I, I can't remember if I... Oh, chickens. Oh, right, there's there's pigs in this... This one, I think? Yeah, there were a bunch of chickens in there and one pig, so I killed all the chickens because we had plenty over there, and I stuck some pigs in there. So we could uh, have some pigs. This is the new and improved reed farm. <laughs> Sugarcane farm, I'm sorry. It's not particularly fancy, but oh well. Tower looks so good in the distance, don't you think? Like I almost want to make it taller, but then I'm like, eh, probably not. 
Um, I may build a taller tower some other time. Because if I build it really tall, then I could easily hook up one of the... Um, well, that's not necessarily true. I could probably easily hook up one of those long-range wireless things with the glass panes, but I'm not really sure about that. That may just get easily messed up. I'd have to use, like, iron bars because I don't actually have iron bars in anything. But glass panes, I can just accidentally look at this and turn off my, my lighthouse, so... You know... Um, let's see... Stuff that I went over last time. There were three things that I went over last time. There was one... Two, three, think. Yeah, um, <clears throat> let's go check out the, uh, the mob farm, just because it's something to do. Uh, I just did spend quite a long time doing, uh, that thing with the, the bridge thing, which I think, I'm really happy with how it came out. Uh, I, I wasn't really sure how it was going to turn out, because originally I wanted to make a, uh, like a hidden door thing, or like a piston door, underneath the, that walkway, so that it, because there was just a big dirt wall there, so I figured, hey, you know, why not? But then I dug a tunnel into it, and I was like, you know, we could make a bridge out of this, and just have, you know, the, the tower on, like, a separate little mountain thing, with our home on a different mountain, and it would be cool, and I, I got too excited about that to possibly go with just a boring piston door. So, that's like my first attempt, really, at, at landscaping, I guess. Most of the time, I just kind of leave things the way they are, or I dig into a wall so there's no real terraforming necessary. But this plops down right, that thing right there, I built the ladder on the pillar that I built up in the first place, so it just comes right down between the two, so I had to build a ceiling over it and make a way around. This is how big it needs to be. I've got, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six blocks down, and I need to go 18, so yeah, exactly a third. Um, TNT, it takes, like... Let's see, we've got 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 17 blocks across, which is like, mm, I guess I wouldn't use TNT for those last two rows. So, because if you put TNT down two blocks here, so like if you put a TNT here, I'll just use dirt to represent it, and then cover it up with cobblestone. You can just, like, put a lever on here and pull it, and it blows up just a 3x3 three three cube. So, um... <clears throat> excuse me. So, I was able to clear out a large area, but unfortunately this room isn't a multiple of 3 long. It is a multiple of 3 wide, which is fortunate. I think it is. 1, 2, er, oops. 1, 2, 3. That's really not what I wanted to do. It's really not what I wanted to do. It is a multiple of 3 wide, though, so that's cool. Uh, let's get these back. Because those are keeping things from spawning down here. And, yeah, so uh, it would be about 3 TNT wide would take up a, a row here, 3 wide and all the way across. And then uh, 5 TNT across would leave just 2 here. So it takes 15 TNT to take down 3 layers. Which means if I want to go another 9, or 12, sorry... Blocks. I'm going to need 45 TNT. No. That was wrong. 12 blocks. 60 TNT. Which means I'm going to need freaking... Oh, that's a stack of TNT, guys. That's a stack of TNT. That means I need five stacks of gunpowder. That's ridiculous. It's probably not going to happen, so I'm going to have to do most of it by hand. Uh, so it kind of sucks that I have an unbreaking pick, but, you know. <laughs> oh, well. I was I was hoping for, like, efficiency or something. But, you know... Uh, uh, that's how the cookie rolls if you if it gathers no moss. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Creepers. Creepers. I do want to kill you guys. Yeah. I'm thinking about doing an episode where I just go out and kill stuff. Maybe I'll do that next episode. Because uh, I did it recently. I did manage to go out and kill stuff all night without actually blowing up a creeper. Or dying. There was one time where I had got to kill five skeletons all at once. Like... They were, there were five skeletons all coming towards me, and I nearly died. It was over in this area here. But uh, fortunately, I was able to make them attack each other for long enough. And then I, I ran out of arrows, which was unfortunate, because I was going to pick them off with arrows, and then they just started coming at me, and I didn't have any more, so I didn't mean to shoot that. Um, and so that didn't go well. But uh, after that, I, I went back, and I murdered a couple chickens, and 
got enough feathers for a good deal of arrows, so I've got like two stacks of arrows now. So that's that should last us a while, at least. I don't need to worry about killing zombies with arrows, it's just that creepers can be a problem sometimes, and mostly just skeletons is what I used to... I usually just pick off skeletons with arrows. There we go. Man, I love my bow texture. I think it looks really good. Maybe that's just me. Maybe it's because I made it. Well, that's not true. I'm usually not happy with stuff that I make. Also, it kills creepers in two hits with this power one bow, so... You know, that's cool. It's power, right? I think it's power one. Power one, yeah. Okay. Unbreaking pick, unbreak efficiency shovel, and unbreaking shovel. I'm using the efficiency one first, because it's going to break sooner. I'll probably just repair them together to see if I can get a better enchantment later, but... Because, I mean, five levels, I can just go out and do that easily, no problem, in a night. And get some gunpowder and everything. This farm does produce a lot of eggs, though, so that's really cool. Oh, I don't remember if last episode I recorded with my texture pack on, because I know I tried recording an episode, but I forgot my texture pack wasn't on, and then I... Oh, Creeper fell in some water. Now. I'm just going to sleep real quick, because this is kind of uh, dangerous. Oh, actually, I should have checked out that uh, tower from far away, because it's nighttime. I think it looks pretty good. My house is pretty well lit. I want to remove all these torches around here, but I don't want um, zombies to spawn near the village for a long time. <laughs> I want to have the villagers, like, hundreds of villagers with many, many iron golems around before I'm willing to do that. Hey, guys. These guys keep me safe, so there's nothing really to worry about that. Man, look at all the creepers, too. So many. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Right in the face, man. The zombie's coming up behind me, isn't he? Yeah, he's getting closer. Oh, he's dead. You! You're next! Die! How did you not die from that? There we go. <laughs> Just a, a crit punch. Yay. Aw, oh, crap. That's gonna be... Mobs are gonna flock to that thing. There's a bunch of flowers here. I should do something with colored wool soon. I don't know what, though. I've noticed that creepers go really far when you sprint hit them with, with a uh, knockback sword. Alright, I wanted to grab that stuff from those chickens. Although, I should probably... I think... I think I'm over. I've gotta be over. There's no way that I couldn't be over. Maybe I'm not over. I don't know. I remember I recorded an episode of my uh, of the the map thing, which I'm still doing. I've just been uploading a lot of these because I had a bunch of extra of these. I can't tell if chickens are getting out or there's a cave around here somewhere and it's bothering me. Or is it a spawner? Okay, well there's a bunch of zombies. Oh my god. Nope, no. Nope. Okay. Hi. 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 Hello there. Hello. Hi. Thanks for coming. Yes, it was nice to see you too. Yes, thank you. Thank you for that. No. Jeez, how many mobs are there? Ah. Man. I just killed like 7 and look at them all down here. That creeper was right in my face, too. Glad I'm wearing armor. Which is actually gonna break pretty soon, so I need to, uh... Get some new stuff. It's all... Pretty... pretty beat up. Maybe we'll do a caving episode where I light up this... Where? Oh, hi. Yeah, maybe, maybe I should just do a caving episode, because there's... Looks like there's a lot of cave here. And I can't, obviously, get to it all in the, like, five minutes that I probably don't have to record this episode. Hi, buddy. Ow. That's, that's what you get for shooting me in the face. Man, there's so many mobs. Like, wow. Looks like an Enderman got to that little dirt hole there. I don't see that spawning naturally. But, you know, what do I know? I've only been playing this game since Alpha. Ah! Oh, record! Oh, yeah. Score. Oh, here's our ravine. I think. Is this our ravine? Yeah, you can see the torch down on the platform down there. Get back, dude. Just go away. Okay, so this isn't totally new stuff. That's good-ish. It's good in some ways, not so good in others. Whoa, whoa, a little bit of lag there. 
Man, it's getting hot in here. Maybe I should turn the heat down. I always turn the heat up and then leave it on at like 68. Just because it's nice. And my mom likes to leave it at 60. Or probably less than that, actually. I'm not really sure. Um, but uh, it always gets freezing cold, and then I turn it up, and then I sit in my room, and it gets late at night, and then it gets really hot because my computer's on. And You know. Okay, so I'm just going to finish up getting this iron, and then we'll end this episode because I don't know how long I've been recording for. I thought it was 37 when I started recording, which would make now, like, 10 minutes. But for some reason... I don't believe that I only started 10 minutes ago, because I've been running around kind of a lot. I did sleep twice, so yeah, it's definitely, maybe it's been 20 minutes, that would make more sense. If it has, then I'm sorry, this is going to be a long episode, but oh well, I don't really care. I like long episodes because it allows me to talk more and do more stuff, like, if this was a 10 minute episode, I never would have been able to come down here, I'm, unless it is a 10 minute episode and I'm just really stupid, and uh, said I was going to be done with that iron, but I'm not, so that's cool. Um, this should end soon. It loops around too much to continue. Yep, there we go. I do want to just, like, fill in all the dark spots down here, just particularly in this one, because I keep hearing those zombies. Or I kept hearing those zombies moaning and groaning under the ground, and every time I went by my chicken farm, and it was getting kind of annoying. Also, if I ever want to make a mob trap, I'm going to need to clear the area of all the... I'm going to need to light up all the caves, I should say. Uh, oh, almost missed you there. Almost. Not quite, though. So you're still gonna have to die. Probably in a fire. But that's okay. Because, you know, that's that's just how life is. Sometimes you just gotta die in a fire. That's quotable. No, seriously, quote me on it. Like, please, quote me on it. I would like to be famous for something. If not for my crappy YouTube videos, then at least for my crappy quotes that I made on YouTube videos. Spider! Hi, buddy! How are you? You're dead. You can't talk anyway, so... Uh-huh. Because you don't have a tongue. Tongues are pretty important to speech. Unless you want to talk like this. In this case, it's not that important. If you understood that, congratulations, but you probably didn't, so that's okay. Uh, I'm just gonna grab this coal real quick and then we'll be done, even though I said that with iron, but I mean it this time. Ish. Well, I meant it last time. But now I really super mean it if I actually don't find anything between then and now. But I think I've cleared out this cave pretty well. Except for, you know, the ravine part. But that's alright. We don't really need to worry about that too much. I was just worried about this dark spot. This dark spot? This dark spot here. Oh, and I just scratched my head, which reminds me I got a haircut, so that's cool. Not that any of you care, but, you know, it's nice. It's been a while since I've had a haircut. Like, a couple months. I don't get haircuts often. Oh, oh, I thought I heard a, a creeper. Oh, so you know how I said I was going to end the episode? Just let me throw some eggs real quick. These chickens lay eggs like crazy, by the way. I don't know if it's just like the open space or what, but I swear I'm getting more eggs from these guys than I've ever seen B double O pull from his chicken farm. And he usually has way more chickens than this, I think. Maybe it's just that they're in a smaller area, so it looks like it's more chickens, even though it's not. I guess if all of these guys were tucked together, I must have clucked, were uh, tucked together into a small area, then it would probably look like a lot more. Okie dokie, so, uh, yeah, that, that'll be it then. <laughs> um, don't know how long this episode has been, but I think I covered everything that I wanted to cover, and we even got to light up some caves, so that's cool. I guess I will leave you guys with a beautiful, beautiful view of our lovely new bridge and its one support beam. Unfortunately, the bridge wasn't an even number wide. Actually, it might be now, because I did change some stuff. I mean, it was an even number wide. Yeah, it is now. Now this one's the center. So I could just move it over, which I might do. Mm, kind of looks good the way it is, though, because it's... it. Well, I don't know, guys. I'm thinking about maybe putting like a, a piston door down here for a storage room and everything, because we're running out of space in the house. Oh my god, I'm so over. Okay, I just need to go. Thank you guys for watching, and it has been a lot of fun. <laughs> it's been a while since I've actually recorded a video that I know is going to upload, so... Um, because I, I did say that I recorded something, but I, I didn't end up up, up I didn't end up uploading uploading oh whatever bye.